of the system is taking in about 240 watts. Hey, how you doing? Duff here, and I was just doing a quick update on my uh, chicken coop solar project. I haven't really said much since I got the second 50 watt, well I got a 50 watt panel installed in addition to my 160 watt panels installed and for the most part it's been working really well. Um, the only issue has been that we've had like uh, very rainy days I might not get a full charge back on the battery but other than that it's been performing well. So I did want to do a quick test though. Oh, let me show you one thing with the panels that is different since I've last updated you on the installation. You'll see that I'm using a different mount system. Um, originally, I just had L bracket mounts, and the I had the panels uh, at a height based based on what looked to be almost level, but not quite level. Since then, I've gotten these adjustable mounts. Um, right now, I have them at their lowest angle because we are in June, which means the sun is the most uh, overhead that it's going to be all year. But what these pan or what these brackets allow me to do is to change the angle of the panels uh, as you go month to month which will hopefully allow me to get the panels at the most optimal angle uh, year-round. Because I was surprised to find out that um, between June and December, the optimal angle, even in Florida, varies by almost 45 degrees. So it really does make a difference. So like I said, right now, I think the optimal angle for uh, June is like minus 2% or something like that. So basically flat. Or, or 2%, not, not minus 2%, 2%. 2%. So, um, yeah, I have them as flat as I can get them on those angles brackets right now. So the other thing I wanted to do, uh, right, it's kind of getting a little bit later in the day. You'll see right now the system is taking in about 240 watts. Someone had asked me about just how much of an improvement do you get using the MPPT controller versus the built-in PWM controller. So right here, this is my 50-watt panel, so I'm going to unplug that. So we get a baseline. Okay, this is just going to be running our dual 160 watt panels. And you'll see with that pulled out, okay, right now we're running about 210 watts. Okay, I got to try to do this before the sun goes behind the cloud. All right, so we're, that's through the MPPT. Now we're going to go to the PWM. Disconnect there. Stretch it over here, and we're going to go into the PWM. All right, PWM. So we were 210 watts. This should take a couple seconds to fire up. Let's see what we're running through the PWM. 197 watts. Okay, so um, it was about 13 watts difference. So let's go back here. We'll go back into the MPPT just to verify it. All right, there you go, back to 210. So there is a clear improvement when you're using the MPPT. Now it's not, it's not a, a huge difference. But there is a difference. I would say um, 10 to 20 percent difference in efficiency using the MPPT. That's what I've noticed. So now I just plug back in my 50 watt panel and, and now we're back up into the 240s. The absolute max input wattage that I've seen on the system since I've had it online, um, you know, right during the, the peak of sun productivity, which is between like 10 and 2, I've seen this, uh, the input go as high as 310 watts. So that's, that's, that's pretty good from three panels. And the Yeti itself has been doing very well. It holds up the attached electronics all night without an issue normally. Recharge is fine, so I've been very happy with it. Now I do still have plans to try to, this, I, this is a, a instant power battery jumping box and, and it also serves as like a emergency AC box that I was gonna try to use as a supplementary battery to the Yeti but with the connections and the size battery that's in here, it's really no good. So what I want to do is hook up an external battery to this. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a sealed lead acid, sealed lead acid or a lithium battery. Lithium is a lot more expensive. It's, it's, I don't know that I want to spend that much money uh, just for a, an experiment. So I might just go with a sealed lead, sealed lead acid. Uh, but we shall see. But my plan is to put it right here. And then I'm going to use the... The, um, the Goal Zero DC car charger that's going to go from the battery to the input on the Yeti, but at the same time I'm also going to be 
charging the battery, the external battery, from one of the outputs on the Yeti. So we'll see how it works. I have to still think through it a little bit, but it should be an interesting experiment nonetheless. You can hear right now the, the fan is kicked on on the Yeti. That happens a lot down here, especially in the summer. This coupe uh, gets a little bit on the warm side, so the external fan will come on on a pretty regular basis. Keeps, keeps things cool. But this is, I mean, this is a, a kind of a tough environment for the Yeti to survive in, and it's done very well. I have no complaints whatsoever. The only thing I wish is I might have uh, preferred to go with the 1400 watt Yeti that has the built-in Wi-Fi and a little bit bigger battery. I think that might have been uh, a good move, but cost-wise, it's hard to beat the refurbed, refurbished Yeti 1000. All right, so there you go. That's my update on my Yeti solar coupe installation. So far, it's been performing well. The chickens like it, right? The girls like it? I think you do. It's been performing well, and uh, when I get that external battery hookup set set up and running and tested, I will be posting another video to let you know how it works out. If you found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback below, uh, especially if you uh, are a Yeti customer as well, or you're doing a small-scale solar setup like I have, and you have some uh, information you'd like to share, I'd love to know it. So hope you had a good weekend. That's all I have for now. Until next time, Duffman out. What do you think, Fiona? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, it's okay. Good girl.